Opposition leader Sam Rainsy paying his respects at a memorial service for five workers killed on Friday. They were shot by government forces during a protest to raise the minimum wage. Their cause is backed by the opposition. Over the last two weeks, supporters of Rainsy's Cambodia National Rescue Party have been coming to the streets. But security forces put a stop to that on Saturday. The son of a village chief. He sat down with us at his party headquarters and explained why he feels the government has been using force to shut down their protests. They want to eliminate this growing popular protest asking for Hun Sen to step down and asking for new elections. The government says its actions are for public safety. It's so much hatred, so much uh, I mean, violence taking place around at the city of the Phnom Penh. And they turned the street become a place of battlefield. Uh, you could see that. And the mob activity, I mean, take over, I mean, the people of freedom and liberty. This is Freedom Park. This was supposed to be the staging ground for the opposition party's biggest rally yet. But on Saturday, it was emptied by security forces. Clearly, that was a major setback to the momentum for the opposition party. So where do they go from here? Rainsy wants to go outside the capital city. This uh, country is a rural country with 80% of the population living in the countryside. Therefore, we will go to the countryside to mobilize the people. The same government has ruled Cambodia since it emerged from the Khmer Rouge era in which millions died. There's been much international involvement in those last 35 years, but some feel there needs to be a stronger commitment to Cambodia's development. It's still the democracy in progress, but somehow it's reflected the lack of maturity, uh, the weak institution, and also the habit um, how to solve uh, the problem peacefully. The ruling party says it wants to continue negotiations with the opposition. But Rainsy says he won't return to the talks until the violence stops. Scott Heidler, Al Jazeera, Phnom Penh.